Welcome to Blur. We're going to start off with a bang and go right to number one on our list. But before we do that, click that subscribe button and don't forget to like this video. Thanks. Now sit back and enjoy the ride. Because in today's video, we're going to cover the top 10 muscle cars from the 1970s that made it the best decade ever. We'll be talking about the history of these cars, their defining characteristics, and why they're still so popular today. Number 1. 1970 Chevrolet Chevelle SS 454 The 1970 Chevrolet Chevelle SS 454 was a muscle car that boasted a powerful engine and impressive performance. This car was a favorite among car enthusiasts and collectors, and it remains a popular choice for many today. If you are considering adding a Chevrolet Chevelle SS 454 to your collection, here are some facts and history about this iconic car. The Chevelle SS 454 was first introduced in 1970. It was powered by a 454 cubic inch V8 engine that produced an impressive 450 horsepower and 500 foot pound of torque. This car could go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 5.3 seconds. The SS 454 was available in both a coupe and convertible body style. It came standard with a 3-speed manual transmission, but a 4-speed manual and 3-speed automatic were also available. This car was discontinued after the 1972 model year as emissions regulations became stricter. However, it was reintroduced in 1996 as a special edition model. The Chevrolet Chevelle SS 454 is a classic muscle car that is sure to turn heads when driving. It's a great choice for car collectors and enthusiasts alike. Number 2. 1970 Ford Mustang Boss 429 The 1970 Ford Mustang Boss 429 is one of the most iconic cars in American history. It was designed to be a high-performance version of the Mustang, and it definitely lived up to that reputation. The Boss 429 was only available for two years, and it was discontinued after the 1971 model year. Even though it was only produced for a short time, the Boss 429 is still very popular with collectors and enthusiasts. The Boss 429, as it is implied, is powered by a high-performance 429 cubic inch V8 engine. This engine was rated at 375 horsepower, and it could propel the Mustang to a top speed of over 150 miles per hour. The Boss 429 was also equipped with a beefier suspension and brakes to help it handle the extra power. Despite its short production run, the Boss 429 is an important part of Mustang history. It was one of the first Mustangs to be designed as a true performance car, and it set the stage for future high-performance models. If you're a Mustang fan, the Boss 429 is definitely a car you need to check out. Number 3. 1970 Plymouth Hemi Superbird In 1970, Plymouth released the Hemi Superbird a special version of the Roadrunner with a larger engine and more aerodynamic body. The car was designed to compete with the Ford Mustang and other similar cars on the market. The Superbird was only produced for one year, and fewer than 2,000 models were made. The Hemi Superbird was powered by a 7.2-liter V8 that could produce 425 horsepower. The car could reach a top speed of over 200 miles per hour. The Superbird's aerodynamic body made it one of the most aerodynamic cars of its time. The car was discontinued after the 1970 model year. Today, the Superbird is a highly sought-after collector's item. Number 4. 1970 Buick GSX When it comes to classic cars, the Buick GSX is definitely one of the most iconic. This car was first introduced in 1970, and it quickly became known for its amazing engine performance. Even today, the GSX is still considered to be one of the best classic cars out there. If you're a fan of classic cars, then you definitely need to check out the GSX. Here are some interesting facts about the car. The Buick GSX was first introduced in 1970. The GSX was originally only available in two colors, black and yellow. The Buick GSX was produced for two years, 1970 and 1971. In 1970, the GSX only cost $3,795. That's pretty cool. 
The Buick GSX was powered by a 455 cubic inch V8 engine. This engine produced 360 horsepower and 465 foot-pound of torque. The Buick GSX could go from 0 to 60 in just 5.8 seconds and could reach a top speed of 155 miles per hour. In 1970, it won the Motor Trend Car of the Year Award. The Buick GSX is definitely a classic car that is worth checking out more. If you're a fan of classic cars, then you'll definitely want to add the GSX to your collection. Number 5. 1970 Plymouth GTX 426 Hemi The 1970 Plymouth GTX 426 Hemi was a car that was ahead of its time. It was a muscle car with a high-performance engine that made it one of the fastest cars on the road. The GTX 426 Hemi was available in two different engine options. The first option was the 7.2-liter V8 engine that was capable of producing 383 horsepower. The second option was the 7.0-liter V8 engine that could generate 425 horsepower. The GTX 426 Hemi was one of the most popular cars of its time. It was a favorite among car enthusiasts and race car drivers. The GTX 426 Hemi was also one of the most expensive cars of its time. It was priced at $6,000, which was a lot of money in 1970, believe me. The GTX 426 Hemi was a very popular car, but it was also very controversial. Some people felt that the car was too powerful and that it was a danger to the public. How ridiculous. The car was eventually banned from racing in some states. Despite the controversy, though, the GTX 426 Hemi remains a popular car. It is a piece of history that is revered by car enthusiasts. Number 6. 1974 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am 455 The 1974 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am 455 was one of the most popular cars of its time. It was known for its great engine performance and stylish design. The Trans Am was one of the most popular cars of the 1970s and is still considered to be a classic today. Here are some facts about the Trans Am you may not know. The Trans Am was first introduced in 1967 as a response to the popularity of the Ford Mustang. The Trans Am was originally designed to be a luxury version of the Pontiac Firebird. However, the Trans Am soon became known for its great engine performance and became a favorite among muscle car enthusiasts. The 1974 Trans Am was powered by a 455 cubic inch V8 engine. This engine produced 200 horsepower and could propel the Trans Am to a top speed of over 120 miles per hour. The Trans Am was also equipped with a four-speed manual transmission. The Trans Am was one of the most popular cars of the 1970s and is still considered a classic today. If you're looking for a great car, the Trans Am is a wonderful choice. Number 7. 1971 Plymouth Hemi Cuda Convertible the 1971 Plymouth Hemi Cuda Convertible is one of the most iconic cars of the muscle car era. With its massive V8 engine and sleek design, the Hemi Cuda was a force to be reckoned with on the racetrack and on the street. Today, the Hemi Cuda is one of the most sought-after collector cars in the world. Here are some facts about this American muscle car legend. The Hemi Cuda was first introduced in 1964 as a special high-performance version of the Plymouth Barracuda. The Hemi Cuda was powered by a huge 426 cubic inch Hemi V8 engine that produced 425 horsepower. This made the Hemi Cuda one of the most powerful muscle cars of its time. The Hemi Cuda was only available with a manual transmission, making it a true performance machine. The Cuda could accelerate from 0 to 60 in just 4.5 seconds and run the quarter mile in less than 13 seconds. In 1971, the Hemi Cuda was available in two different versions, the standard model and the Cuda 440. The Cuda 440 was powered by a 440 cubic inch V8 engine that produced 375 horsepower. The Cuda 440 was only available with an automatic transmission, making it less of a performance car than the standard Hemi Cuda. Only 1,171 Hemi Cuda convertibles were built in 1971 making it one of the rarest muscle cars of all time. Today, a Hemi Cuda convertible can fetch upwards of $3 million at auction. If you're lucky enough to own one, 
you're sure to have a valuable piece of automotive history on your hands. These rare muscle cars are sure to appreciate in value over time, so make sure you take good care of your ride. Number 8. 1970 De Tomaso Pantera The 1970 De Tomaso Pantera is a mid-engine sports car that was manufactured by De Tomaso in Italy. The Pantera was first introduced at the New York Auto Show in 1970. The Pantera was powered by Ford's new V8 Cleveland 5.8-liter engine and was one of the first production cars to use a mid-engine layout. The Pantera was also one of the first cars to be fitted with disc brakes all around. The Pantera was a success and was produced until 1974. A total of 7,161 Panteras were built during its production run. The Pantera has been described as one of the most intriguing and controversial cars ever built and one of the great automotive success stories of the 1970s. If you are looking for a truly unique and exotic muscle car, the De Tomaso Pantera is definitely worth checking out. Number 9. 1971 Mach 1 429 Super Cobra Jet Did you know that the 1971 Mach 1 429 Super Cobra Jet was one of the most powerful cars of its time? This muscle car was packing a huge V8 engine that could churn out an impressive amount of power. But what made this car so special? For starters, the Mach 1 was based on the Mustang platform, but it received a number of upgrades to make it more performance-oriented. This included a more powerful engine, a beefier suspension, and bigger brakes. The heart of the Mach 1 was its massive V8 engine. The base engine was a 429 cubic inch V8 that could produce 360 horsepower. But for those looking for even more power, there was an optional 428 cubic inch V8 that could produce a whopping 375 horsepower. To put that into perspective, the average car of today produces around 200 horsepower, so the Mach 1 was truly a muscle car powerhouse. But the Mach 1 wasn't just about raw power. It was also a pretty good handling car, too. Thanks to its upgraded suspension, the Mach 1 could take corners at high speeds without losing its composure. If you're a car enthusiast, then the Mach 1 is definitely a car you should know more about. It's a true performance icon that helped define the muscle car era. Number 10. 1970 Pontiac GTO Judge The Pontiac GTO Judge is a muscle car that was produced by Pontiac in the late 1960s and early 1970s. The Judge was Pontiac's answer to the Chevy Camaro Z28 and the Ford Mustang Boss 302. The Judge was a high-performance version of the Pontiac GTO, and it came with a larger engine and more aggressive appearance. The Judge was only produced for two years, 1970 and 1971, and it was discontinued after Pontiac's parent company, General Motors, instituted a new performance policy that limited the power of Pontiac's engines. Despite its short production run, the Judge has become an icon for the muscle car era and is highly sought after by collectors and enthusiasts. The Judge is powered by a 400 cubic inch V8 engine that produces 360 horsepower. The Judge can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.3 seconds and has a top speed of over 140 miles per hour. The Judge is also noticeable for its unique screaming chicken hood decal which has become one of the most recognizable images of the muscle car era. If you are lucky enough to own a Pontiac GTO Judge, or if you're just a fan of muscle cars, there's no doubt that you appreciate the history and performance of this iconic car. As we come to the end of our list of the best muscle cars from the 1970s, we have to say that this was truly a great decade for these vehicles. There were so many amazing cars that came out during this time, and they have definitely left a lasting impression on the automotive industry. We hope you enjoyed our little trip down memory lane, and if you have any favorite muscle cars from the 1970s, be sure to let us know in the comments. And if you're interested in other automotive videos, go check out our other videos on Blurred. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell icon for updates on new videos. Until next time, thanks for watching.